We got a couple things in the mail today. What is up guys, The Human Carjack here, and today we're back with another installation video. Today we have a pretty cool new part. This is actually a custom part made by Loud Pack Customs. I'm gonna put his Instagram right on screen right now. Basically what he does is he makes any sort of custom part for your car. He does a lot of stuff for the Forester and pretty much any model car that you want. So for example, we have a wing today. And I don't remember what the material is called, but it's like this very dense plastic. I'm gonna put the exact name of the material on screen so you guys could know what it's made of. And I'll go ahead and give you guys a first glimpse at what it looks like. So here we have it, it's a black wing. I got a couple of cutouts here for the brake light. But it's a black wing, it's a pretty thick, it's about like half an inch, right over here. So this is a custom part, this is one of one. Basically what Loud Pack Custom does is uh, he makes one-off pieces and they're specifically tailored to your car and they're handmade. So the design of this was all pretty much exactly how I wanted it. So he asked me if I wanted this to be uh, like half an inch thick or uh, three eighths thick, I think. Uh, as far as the brake light, he could even like cut out a whole insert here so your whole brake light shows. I decided to go with the holes instead. So just to kind of show like a little bit of it. Um, yeah, and then there's this like protective film over here that he's got, I, I think it's a film, I don't know, it's like a little like rubber trim thing. And he also included a set of self-tapping screws. So that's gonna help us bolt it onto the existing wing. So we're gonna grab this now, we're gonna do a little bit of a fitment test. I'm gonna place the camera on the tripod and just to see how it kind of lines up with the rest of the car. All right, so I just spoke to the gentleman who made this for me on Instagram and he basically said that this like wrinkled part should be facing out and then the flat part over here should be what's on the car. It's kind of like reflective over here. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a quick cleaning, but I'm also just gonna fit it on right now just to see how it looks so we can get an idea. Yeah, so that's more or less what it's gonna look like. So I think there's about six screws included. I gotta put maybe one or two of them on this side, then one or two of them over here, and same thing for the other side. I mean, not bad. Like, take a look at that. Let me kind of line it up. Yeah, I mean, I think that was pretty decent. All right, so time to get this cleaned. All right, so we're gonna start off by cleaning the wing first. We got some water and rubbing alcohol here. I got my gloves on. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean off the spot where the wing is gonna go onto so that the car is nice and clean over there and that we don't trap any dirt there. So we got a microfiber cloth, so let's get to it. So before I get to drilling, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go a little bit above and beyond and throw some 3M tape on the back side over here, just to ensure that this thing doesn't fly off under high speeds. So we're gonna cut out some strips, put it all around over here, or actually down over here, and then we're gonna go ahead and start drilling. All right, we got the 3M on. Use a whole lot of it. There's like literally nothing left. But yeah, I'm confident now this is really gonna stick onto it. I like the idea that there's self-tapping screws. I mean, it's definitely gonna hold on and I, I spoke to the uh, the creator of it. He said that there's people who've gone like, you know, over 100 miles per hour in this thing without any issues. Like it didn't fly off or it didn't, you know, crack any of the, uh, the existing components on the car. So I don't know, this was just me, like my OCD thing and just, as a way to kind of be a little bit more confident in this. So we're gonna go ahead and try and stick it on now. We're gonna let the 3M do its work on the car and then we're gonna get the screws in place. To be honest, I think the 3M was a good idea because it's gonna make putting this on a little bit easier because now I don't have to really hold it in place and put the screws on. 
Now that we got them placed, I think it's time to bust out the screws and get them all placed in the right spots. So we've got six screws that the wing came with. We're gonna go ahead and place two of them over here, one here, one here, one over here dead in the middle between uh, the, surf the first circle and the edge of it, and then same thing on the other side. So it came with six self-tapping screws. We're gonna go ahead and place two of them over here on the side, one in the middle over here, and same thing on the other side. All right, so we got the first screw in. Looking pretty good over there. Now the second one's gonna be a little bit higher. We'll place it right on top over here. So I'm not gonna make them too tight quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side too. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten them down a little bit more. You know what, I should probably grab a measuring tape just to make sure that they're all lined up the same way. Actually, I think I have something better than measuring tape. I'm gonna use the good old digital caliper. This thing has been really, really helpful lately as far as like adjusting the coilovers and making all these like really specific measurements. So we're gonna go back to this side real quick, right there, and we're gonna measure the distance between the bottom of the wing right there and the center of the screw. We get, there's that, 27, 27.41 millimeters. All right, so that's where that first one should be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and actually lock this into place. There's this little dial over here that if I tighten it, all right, so I tighten this top thing down and now it's gonna hold it in place there. So back to the other side, I'm gonna measure from here, right to the bottom, to right there in the center. So with the help of a permanent marker, I'm gonna go ahead and measure from here Right, right in the middle. All right, so now we got our little dot there. So we know where to drill the screw into. I'm actually gonna switch out to this silver marker so I can show a little bit more. So now we're going back to the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this. So we're gonna hit, uh, well actually we're just gonna bring it back down to the, to the starting position, right? So all the way there. And we're gonna zero it, because now it says negative whatever. So we zeroed it, all right? So now I guess the measurement will be between, it'll be between each screw, like so the middle of each screw. So I gotta open this up a whole bunch. Say, I don't know, right around there. It says 85 millimeters, now I'm gonna need more. You know, pretty big on this. So that right there is about 113 millimeters. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we got all these screws on, on all the edges. Let me just zoom out so you guys can see. So we got all the screws on the edges, right? Two here, two over there. Now we just have to do the middle ones. We're gonna take another measurement between, I guess like this hole and the screw, or I guess, now probably like this hole and the edge of the wing. And then we're gonna put it dead in the middle, right here and right here. All right, all six screws are in. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten them all up. All right, and that is all she wrote. So check it out. So we got all of our screws over here. It's looking really good from the back. They fit pretty nicely. It really lines up with the edge of the car on both sides. I think the 3M tape is gonna help a little bit. One thing I wanna do though, cause it shows like from the side over here, you can see the tape yeah, right over there and some of the, uh, I guess like the material for after I, I like screwed it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get a hold of an X-Acto knife and just kinda clean this all up, clean up the edges on this side. Let's check the other side. The other side, let's see, is there a little bit? Yeah, there's just like a little bit of tape showing too. But overall, I mean like, it looks great. I mean, let's give it like a, like a quick like pull. And it feels pretty stable. Like, yeah, it shakes a little bit, but overall, not too bad. Overall, I'm liking the look so far.
overall I'm thinking this thing is looking pretty good especially when the light hits it the right way. Really like the black finish and we're gonna see how well it holds up. I'm gonna give you guys a couple more glamour shots and I thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now. Peace. Real quick before we close out this video, I wanted to show you guys what the third brake light looks like. So yeah, so we cut out a couple of holes right over here. So we got like five of them right there. And you could definitely see the third brake light. Like there's a couple options that Loud Pack Customs um, had. You could either just cut out the whole thing and expose the, the third brake light or go with the the holes but honestly i like the i like the holes better so again if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up consider subscribing hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video